In Beijing's BRICS summit, Putin is back on the world stage. When Russian President Vladimir Putin dials into the virtual BRICS summit hosted by Beijing on Thursday, it will be his first time attending a forum with the heads of major economies since launching an invasion of Ukraine earlier this year. For Putin, this could offer a welcome picture, his face beamed on screen alongside other leaders whose countries make up this economist grouping. China's Xi Jinping, India's Narendra Modi, Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro, and South Africa's Cyril Ramaphosa a signal that Russia, though battered by sanctions and remonstrations for the invasion, is not alone. S a message that may resonate even more clearly as China and Russia, weeks before the invasion, declared their own relationship to have no limits, and as each of the BRICS leaders have avoided condemning Russia outright, even as they hold varying levels of interest in not being seen to endorse its actions, and run foul of Western friends, Putin's invasion is likely to throw another complication into BRICS, a more than a decade-old grouping of major emerging economies, which already suffers from mistrust between members, and misbudged ideologies. But the decision by the group to press ahead with its 14th annual summit does reflect a view held by BRICS countries on the global order and, by extension, the situation in Ukraine, that departs from that of the West, experts say. We're talking about some very major economies whose leadership is willing to be seen with Putin, even if it is only on a virtual platform, said Sushant Singh, a senior fellow at the Center for Policy Research, CPR, in New Delhi. The fact that Putin is welcome, he's not a pariah. He's not being pushed out and this is a normal engagement, which has taken place every year, and it's still taking place that is a big plus for Putin, he said.